chicken biryani these are the ingredients here what I've got this is one tray of chicken two tomatoes four potatoes two onion and this is lentil biryani doll this is turmeric powder one tablespoon one cup frozen peas one cup green pe uh, beans a tablespoon of ginger and tablespoon of garlic and 100 ml oil this is three cup rice you have to soak and boil it till it comes slightly soft yeah you mix your chicken with the yogurt two tablespoon yogurt you mix it with the chicken you add in salt to taste in the chicken and you put your three tablespoon of mixed masala there's five cinnamon stick and uh, we got the spice here, elechi and clove. It will be about two tablespoon. I have, if I, if you want, you can please roast it and add it in your biryani while the chicken is getting done. And it tastes more better if you crush it. Here is the chilies. You want to put four chilies or to put the extra, you can put your chilies. The bay leaf is here, dania is here, and the curry leaf is here. And if you want to add in margarine, you can add in which amount you like to add in because you're using good uh, this thing, oil, good amount of oil. So you don't have to worry this drama, you can add. And uh, this one here is saffron. You can take a little and soak it when the biryani is done or before the biryani is done, you pour it over the rice. You can add in egg yellow. Uh, coloring if the biryani is done you add a drop in the middle egg yellow not mixing it with water just put a quarter teaspoon you drop it in the middle and you close a lid and the steam takes it all over I'm going to add in the yogurt on this chicken right you have to mix it with the spice now I'm going to mix the yogurt with the turmeric powder and the spice you spread it all over and I add in the garlic ginger to it so it's soak in the chicken before you braise it with all the onions and all so it comes out very nice see you soak the yogurt because it softens the chicken and it gives it a nice taste add in some salt to taste I cover the chicken and I will set aside and now I'll boil the rice till it comes soft not very soft slightly soft then I'll braise the chicken then I'll put the rice over the chicken I'm going to put the rice and the lentil to boil in separate pot I'm adding some salt to taste in the rice and in the lentil. I dice the two onion here and I liquidize the tomato. I peel the potato and I cut it in halves. The rice is halfway done and the lentils here. I'm going to braise the chicken and then I put the rice over the chicken. I'll put this 100 ml oil in the pot. I'll put the spice in here while the oil is getting hot. The chilies I put in there, the bay leaf, the curry leaf, bay leaf, and the tang. I'll put a little onion, half of the onion here, and the other half I'll fry it and throw it over the rice when the biryani is done. So while this onion get light brown, I'll put in the tomato and fry it, then I'll put the chicken. The onion is lightly brown here, I'm going to put the tomato. Now I'll put the chicken and the onion. 
the tomato is fried here in the oil put all the spice I throw in the potato you spread it nicely in the pot you have to spread it in the pot nicely and then adding the green peas. The chicken curry is almost done for the biryani. I am putting the rice in the pot. I mix the rice and the lentils in here with some egg yellow coloring. Now I'm putting it in the chicken. I put the rice in after 15 minutes. I put a little saffron in here and I add in some egg yellow coloring inside here like this just a little bit of water the saffron and the coloring is mixed here I add in the spot little at the time here and this just to give it a color just a little and now I'm adding in the piece Then I'm throwing in the brown onion, the balanced onion which I made it brown with the butter I leave it to steam about 20 minutes Now I'm going to put the coriander Here's my chicken biryani. You can serve it with dal, salad, or pickles. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.